Now, by way of introducing my first guest this afternoon, very special guest, I'm going to play you a little clip of a song featuring him singing with his brother. Have a quick listen. The snow still falls and covers all around the brilliant white. The day still spent around the fire, the air still cold at night. The stars still twinkle in the sky, the moon a baby blue. But something special shines out there, a shooting star for you. I light a candle on the window to guide you safely home. A flickering light upon the window, so you'll never be alone. But in present south, the mistletoe, just like you used to do. But Christmas time is different when it's Christmas without you. And that song is called Christmas Without You and it was composed by the very talented uh, singer and entertainer Jack Patrick Healy from Killarney but it has added poignancy this Christmas uh, because it will be Jack Patrick's first Christmas without his much-loved younger brother Thomas who sadly was killed in a traffic collision during the summer and Jack Patrick joins us on the line now from London. Welcome to the programme Jack Patrick. Hello, my friend, Deirdre. How are you? And hello to all the listeners and all my friends in County Kerry it's and gr- beyond. It's great to talk to you again. Listen, it must be um, it must be a tough time now heading into Christmas, your first one without your, your lovely brother. But you know, it certainly is. And it's, it's going to be a very difficult time for, for the Healy family, uh, especially, you know, that it is, a, it is, as you mentioned, our first Christmas without him. But you know what? Every family, no matter what, um, whether they're rich or poor, or whether they're from England or Ireland or America or anywhere across the world, every family Deirdre, is missing somebody at Christmas. And that is why I decided to do, to do this this year, because, and I'm, I'm delighted I did, because the response I'm getting to it is everybody, regardless of whether they knew Thomas or not, uh, they all relate to missing somebody at this, this Christmas time. Yeah, and th- there's a bit of an age gap between the two of you, but you were very close, I understand. Oh, we were fierce close. There was 12 years uh, between us. He was the surprise birthday present, uh, or the Christmas present for my mom on her 40th birthday. Um, so, yes, we, we, we loved him very dearly, and I was the eldest, he was the youngest, and we had a very, very special bond. But as Danny said, my brother Danny said in, in the eulogy at Thomas's funeral in July, He said that he earned something from each of us, which was lovely. And Danny, my brother, put that so beautifully. He got the sport and uh, the toughening up from Danny and Michael. And he got the music and the bit of roguery from myself. Yeah. And and that's actually his voice on that track. Yes. Uh, So what's cool about this song, Deirdre, is I recorded this and wrote it initially in 2009 on the back of a maths copy while I was studying in the Intermediate School, Killardlin, where Thomas actually went on to study afterwards. Unfortunately, his time there uh, was cut short, but he got away without doing a leaving search. So there you go. (laughs) And and you you wrote it and you you played it and, and sang it with Thomas at the time. Well, no, we actually never sang this song together, oh. which is which which is actually the, the, the most exciting part of this. Uh, once Thomas had passed away, I was I was sent a couple of videos of him singing bits and pieces, and probably about six or seven weeks ago, one of his friends from school sent me a video of Thomas in the gap of Dunlow in his bedroom singing this song, and I thought, after all these years, you know, he obviously loved it, so I took the vocals from Thomas, put my vocals together, and just like Shane McGowan and Kirsty McCall, who actually never recorded that song, The Fairy Tale of New York, together, we did it and put this out this year. And I'm just so delighted that it's finally got the airplay that it deserves and that Thomas's lovely voice and his legacy will remain. What do you miss most about him? What, what, tell us a little bit about Thomas. Oh, that rogue. He was, do you know what? He was the nicest young fella. And, you know, when you go to funerals, and especially in Irish funerals, what's, what's, what's lovely about that is that you hear stories. 
and you hear tales of, of, of different parts of this person's life. There was not one person who had a naughty thing to say about him. He could mix and converse with the young and the old. He had a cheeky glint in his eye like all of the Healy boys. And he was just so talented in all aspects of his life. You know, whether it came to school or whether it came to art, he was fantastic at drawing at art. He used to send me photographs during the COVID-19. We used to speak every single Friday on FaceTime. And I think you asked me initially there, um, Deirdre, you said, what do I miss most? Really and truly, it is just those those little nuggets of, of, of catching up with him at the end of the week and what did he do and things like that. But what's lovely is that we will always have the memories. And that's what we need to hold on to, are the memories. And they're just the most beautiful memories. And now that this song is out there, well, his voice is finally put with mine. And hopefully one day down the line, we'll get Dad involved too. And wouldn't it be lovely to do a little trio? It would be beautiful. So it's called Christmas Without You. And really, I think, Jack Patrick, it'll resonate with a lot of people because the older you get, the more all of us have somebody that we miss at Christmas, somebody who passed away belonging to us. Absolutely. And like that, you know, Christmas is a very joyous time. It's a wonderful time. And I'm looking forward to it. It's my second Christmas here in London. Uh, I've made the very hard decision not to come home. Uh, I was home twice this, this summer. But regardless of the expense, etc., it's just work. Work is so, so busy here. And uh, coming home, I just unfortunately couldn't take the time off. But I made a vow over this Christmas, which is the season of giving. Uh, for every gig that I'm doing and I'm paid for here in London, I'm matching it for a charity. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing 10 gigs uh, which are booked in piano bars, etc. And I'm also playing in 10 nursing homes and residential homes here in the UK. OK, well, that, that's wonderful to hear that. And, uh, of course, we remember you from your, your gigs here in, in, in Killarney and we also remember you from being on The X Factor. Um, Hannah from Far and Four has been on to tell you that she misses you so much from your residency in the Grand Hotel in Killarney. So will we see you, oh, will we see you uh, gigging any time soon at home? Well, do you know what? Uh, I would like to come back home and, and do a couple of gigs, absolutely, because you know what? Killarney, Killarney prepared me for what I was going to throw myself into here in the UK, and especially the capital city, London, because as you know, and as everybody who, who's been over here knows, it is a rat race, and it's every man for himself, but I love it. I absolutely love it here. And yes, Hannah, I promise you, in fan for whether it'll be in Killarney or whether it'll be at Kerry Airport, I'll be singing in Kerry again. Oh, that's wonderful. And is, is it easy to, to get gigs at the moment in, in London? Because I know that here, for musicians here in Kerry, a lot of gigs are being cancelled. So are things pretty much going ahead in, in London, Jack Patrick? They've been going ahead. Uh, they're a little bit slow. And, you know, audience members are down, which you, you, you can expect. Uh, but having said that, I, I'm in residency every Friday to Sunday, which is great. And anything that happens during the week, you know, private functions or whatever, it's sort of picking up again, which is good, you know. But it's been a horrible, it's been a horrible couple of years. And I feel actually for, for my father and the likes of all those musicians, the fantastic singing Jarvis, you know, for a man who started off at 15 playing all these, these musical instruments and entertaining wonderful crowds, to be without those crowds must be heartbreaking. And your, your, your own brother, Jer, as well, who I, I know is fierce fan, I'm fierce fan of him. <laughs> Thank you very much. I know it, it is tough for, for, for all the, the musicians and singers at the moment. Um, how will you be spending Christmas Day, Jack Patrick? I know it'll be, it'll be kind of a lonely one for you. It will, it will be lonely. Well, last year was the loneliest because there was no chance at all of flying home. Um, but I learned how to cook and I had my mother Julie's uh, handed down from her uh, mother-in-law May's potato ball recipe so i made that last christmas and what i'm actually doing this christmas is in the morning i'm going to be uh helping out in harleston west london at a homeless shelter cooking some meals and and giving out to the charity and after that i look forward to going up to to my aunt in north london for my own Christmas dinner. So that's where I'm going to be spending Christmas this year, um, the Deirdre. Oh, well, fair play to you. And you, you'll be thinking of Thomas and, and missing him, I, I, I guess it goes without saying. I will, of course. But you know what? The, the, the most lovely thing, and it'll just show you the strength of my parents and any parents who, who, who have unfortunately gone through the trauma, which they should never do, of burying their child, especially the little baby, 
is I've learned from them that, you know, when I was living in London here and Thomas was in Ireland, there was a distance apart. Whereas now, because he's a singing in, in Heaven's Choir, he's closer than he ever will be to all of us. Yeah, OK. I, I can hear the emotion in your voice. It's, it's tough to talk about this, I can well imagine. Listen, we let you go, um, Jack Patrick. It's so great to catch up with you. And people can see, uh, can hear the lovely song Christmas Without You on YouTube. Is it available anywhere else? Yes, it's on YouTube, it's on Facebook, it's on Instagram. It's entirely free, which is the main thing. You know, this is a, a time for giving. And if this, can, if this song can give anybody in, in the county of Kerry and beyond some solace and some hope that, you know what, will keep going and they're always with us, go and light a candle on the window because it will always guide you home. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Listen, great to talk to you. Look after yourself. Uh, I know it'll be a sad Christmas for you this year, but uh, it sounds like you're going to make the best of it. And uh, here's to good things for you in 2022 and your Absolutely. career. Absolutely. And here's a thank you very, very much and wishing you and yours a very Merry Christmas too. Great stuff. Cheers. Lovely to speak to you, Jack Patrick. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye, dear. Bye-bye. That's Jack Patrick Healy there uh, talking about his brother Thomas who was just 14 uh, sadly was killed in a road collision in July in Killarney. Uh, a lonely Christmas not just for Jack Patrick but of course we're thinking of all the Healys um, of, of Killarney coming into the Christmas period and their first one without Thomas so it's going to be a tough one uh, but you're not alone and I bet you're all very proud of uh, Jack Patrick and the great career success he's had with that fabulous voice of his. He's some entertainer I can tell you. I've seen him in action he really is a very very special talent so do check out that song it's called Christmas Without You and you'll find it on YouTube and Facebook and various other places. Now it is